be both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Rangers start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. The Wild have possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From the right side and up the middle. There's the whistle, offside is the call. Champion's effective in the dots, guys. He's always practicing, taking face-offs, and he really prides himself on winning those matchups. That's what we call his quick draw zone ability. Slides the puck to Heatley. With possession along the wall. The Rangers have it now. Feeds the puck to Callahan. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. Officials stop the play, finally allowing the injured player to get off the ice. Oh, James, he took a huge hit there. We'll have to have another look at that one, but looks like he's having a hard time getting up. Fox is getting some assistance here by the medical staff, James, and this is a tough one to watch as he makes his way down the tunnel to the locker room where he'll be assessed. He's just hopping there. He can't put any weight on that one leg. Cheryl, I'm not a doctor, and I will say this, though. It is very evident that this is a leg injury, and he is going to need some medical attention. Oh, he got huddled by Lundqvist. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Picked up along the boards by Callahan. Makes the glove stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Forsberg's won the draw. Shot! Scores! And look at that! They are quickly on the board, and the crowd is going, what happened? Well, if only it started that way all the time, exactly the way the coach would have drawn it up. But you certainly want to dictate pace when you are on the road, and you want to take the crowd out of it early. We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. New York's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this. Already the first goal of the game and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done. And that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone. You control the pace of play and you find a way to get on the board first. Stones him in front. <laughs> Forsberg's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. And he lays him out with that collision. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And that's what he does with that first hit. Moves the puck over to Vanek. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Picked off by Forsberg. And now it's over to Gabarik. Can't get a hold of that pass. Absolutely. Here we go. You knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. And there's the takedown, and I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. The home side is going to gain a lot of adrenaline after that win. Frustration, physicality, and that fight says it all. Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play, and face-off here set to resume action. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Oh, and the anchor is dropped on that hit. With the stop.
Minnesota's got a lot of time to get back into this one. Lots of scoring chances, but they're still down. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Gostas Bear. Slides the puck up from the left side. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Denies that opportunity. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. More than half the period left to play. New York's up one zip. Michaels won the draw here in the offensive zone. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, go technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And he makes the save on that play. Big time stop with the glove! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Michael's a big part of this team's offense, guys. They're trailing at the moment, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get things going. Swoops in and grabs the puck with the centers tied up in the scrum on the draw. Quick pass over to Heatley. Michael's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Moves it on over to Heatley. And that's off a stick. Here's a short pass to Messier. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Here's a shot. Scores! Scores! Number 30 of the season. He's done it. Are you kidding me, James? What a milestone for him. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. You've got to keep your eye on him if you're the opponent because he gets rid of it fast. Well, great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Minnesota still down here in the first, despite the multiple scoring opportunities. And off the face-off, they take possession. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Forks moving the puck through his own zone. the period has expired. The Rangers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. New York's got it in the offensive zone. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. Quick feed down low, and he makes the save. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this puck was going, and he was ready for it. Callahan's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Turned aside with a glove by Lundqvist. Niskin and Son, the penalty box is up, and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice, and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence. He can play physical, but he's also got to play with his brain. Lundqvist's rock solid between the pipes. He can go on his team and give them a chance to win on a nightly basis. Buck wins a steady defender who's known to join the rush. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who can power their team to victory tonight. That's a hit on the play. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Moves it to the offensive zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. Minnesota's had 
the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. guys and he's looking to spark this team if he can use his own ability to generate scoring chances he could really influence this game can they take advantage after winning that draw oh wow what a pass saved by Lundqvist oh what a hit on the wall and that's a clean one James a great angle shoulder to shoulder and just laid it on thick Minnesota's got it in their own zone Moves it quickly over to Heatley. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Fires it on the And the state of hockey is moving! Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible. But this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Fox is out for the remainder of the game, James. That injury he suffered earlier, we just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Oh, and another big stop! Oh, man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Along the half wall with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Minnesota's had a lot of jump to their game so far here this evening, but yet they still trail here late in the opening frame. Clutterbucks won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Good hit to pump him off the puck. New York's got it in their own zone. Scrum on the boards as they battle for the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. The Rangers gain possession. And he slides it quickly to Messier. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Rocks him on the play. Scores! There it is! 30 on the season! Well, that 30 signifies a top performer, doesn't it, James? I mean, he's found the back of the net on elite goaltended 30 different times. I could watch this play over and over and over again, James, because his, his will and compete level here. He's showing truculence, he lays the hit, and what he does is he separates his opponent from the puck. Now his team can get possession of it, they can get going the other way, they can start to create, and the goal is a result. Centering pass! Great defensive oh. play to pick off the pass! Miller's really hearing it from the home crowd right now. They didn't like that play earlier that injured their player, and they're going to let him know it all night long. New York's game possession along the boards. Makes the save with the trapper. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to battle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And with the center, he scores! What a goal! Two quick goals in a minute 30, James. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. I love that he fights to get tight to the net here, and it's all about accuracy and a quick release. It's not about how hard it is, and he doesn't miss. Minnesota's hoping to even things up before this first intermission. They've had plenty of chances, but they still trail. Look at that hit. Let's get physical. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments.
A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Here we go. Lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Picked up along the wall by Bork. The Rangers move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed as center and moves up ahead. Here's the chance to set up now. That's not going to fool him. Dubnik's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. Minnesota's put a lot of pucks on net. Now they just need to put one past the goaltender, still trailing in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Levels him with that hit. The Rangers grab possession to the puck. There's a great club save by Lundqvist. Lots of time left in this period. New York's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Minnesota's won the draw. Here's a blast! So they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. That certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to live because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. Well, that's just a great goal. He had his head up all the way, just looking at the goaltender, seeing how quickly he can get the shot off, and he finds the back of the net. The Wild have to find a way to do that a couple more times now. Most of the game, it's felt like they've been chasing it, James, but it looks like they're in control right now coming off of that goal and really building off of it to get back in the game. If they can get within one, they'll apply a lot of pressure to their opponent. New York's in now. Cuts into the paint. Great defensive effort with the stick. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Now over to Kane. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Minnesota's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Right on the doorstep. Can't get it to go. Sends the pass down low. Works it across to Gostaspair. They've really got him on their heels here now. New York's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. St. Louis stick handling in his own zone. Intercepted at center by Niskanen. And that's knocked away by Messier. New York hits a two on one. Out in front. Here's a shot. Oh my goodness, what a save here. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Lots of offense here tonight. 4 2 is where we're sitting. The Rangers win that offensive zone face-off. Heatley's lugging the puck. Moves it to champion. Takes a shot. Scores! And they strike Peter and Zikon. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. I love when offense is generated from below the goal line. All of the coverage is facing the puck, and he gets lost in coverage in that slot area and just fires it home. The Wild have created some momentum for themselves here in period number two with that goal. Well, they're within striking distance now, within one with a lot of runway left here. So they have to play with energy. This next shift is really important. The Rangers have it now. Puck set over to low. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And that play's broken up. Heatley got it against the boards. Oh, tremendous save on the one-timer. Oh, another save. It's amazing. 
interesting to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Minnesota's effort at some point has to pay off. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they still trail in this one. Pressure on the puck carrier with a big body check, guys. He wears down the opposition with his truculent zone ability. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Slides the puck across to oh. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Oh, he scores! And look who's at it again as the points continue to pile. 50 is a huge number, James, and everyone around him knows that his teammates are up. They're congratulating him. You can see the stick taps right there. But this has been an unbelievable year for him so far, and it's incredible to think what he can continue to do. Well, lack of coverage here, and as a result, there is a goal scored against them, James, but it's all about wandering outside the middle of the ice. You know that you always have to protect the middle. You want to make sure that you're only giving up perimeter shots, but because of that lack of coverage, they expose the middle of the ice. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Rangers now lead by two. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Tries to feed it over to Enron. Oh, just a great heads up play by Zuccarello. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Wild have it on the attack. Hammers the shot and makes the save. And the puck's booted away. Quick pass to Kane. That's blocked. New York's got it against the boards. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Moves into the slot. Oh, what a denial by Lundqvist. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Oh, there's a hit. Misses the net. From the right side, they gain the zone. Here's a shot. Traffic save. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. New York's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Vanix taking it from his own end. Takes the feed. Denies him! Quick feed to Vanek. Denies him again! Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Minnesota's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. New York's got the win off that draw. Working the puck up inside the wall. the call. Messier's going to get two for charging. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Swooping in on the attack. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Parisi. Now a quick pass to Gabarik. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Passes out front. And he couldn't handle the pass as he takes a bump in front. And it's a quick pass to Palmanville. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Another face-off looming here on this power play. The Rangers 
Rollins win the draw. New York's looking to break out. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Stahl's going to play it against the half wall. That's intercepted. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Sabinejad's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Michaels won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Tremendous puck save by Lundqvist. Michaels ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Minnesota's won the draw and they'll go to work. Lundqvist's gonna hang on for a whistle. Minnesota's trailing here late in the second period despite being the more active team offensively. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Heatley. Takes a shot, and he was ready for that save. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Gets it out of his own end. The power play only has time for one more rush here. Time is of the essence. You gotta get the puck up ice quickly, and you have to gain entry fast. Kicked away. Oh, just a textbook hit. They clear the zone. Hammers it on net. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Gostas Bears back at you. Zone ability is that reverse hit he throws on incoming checkers, guys. He can lessen the impact of a body check and make them think twice about taking a run at him. Nice job tying up his opponent. Messier's almost back on the ice. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They got to be better. A chance of the one-timer. Lundqvist's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Clutterbuck's aware that he needs to step up for his team, guys. His zone ability is one part of his game that can help his team close this gap. Richards has it in their own end. New York's got it along the wall. Musa quickly over to St. Louis. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And they'll dump it in. Musa to Silverberg. Moves the puck. It's like on a string, but it's also his awareness, the way he scans and how he knows how to manipulate and create space for himself. That's how he gets himself to the net, and then he finishes it off by beating the goaltender. Minnesota's got one back here late in period number two. Now, can they even things up? They need to get the equalizer, and the best way to do it is stay connected as a five-player unit. They did real well in the Nice job to finish there on the play. Well, he hits that 50-goal marker for his career, James, and you knew he was looking at that one. He wanted that one on paper. Well, the game is played at such a high rate of speed, James, that you have to make decisions quickly, but there's a lack of coverage and a huge defensive miscue that leads to this goal. The Rangers deliver an absolute backbreaker with that goal here late in the second. Well, it certainly adds a buffer to that one goal lead, doesn't it? And it certainly changes the mind frame. What it can't change is the way that they're playing. They got to keep the foot on the gas here and get themselves to the intermission. Tries to the crease. Turned aside with the glove by Lundqvist. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age from working on all of those different drills to help them 
with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Nice start one of the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. He got all of that hit on the play. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next. <laughs> Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. They are underway here in the third, and this could come down to last shot wins. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Rangers are ahead in this game in the third period, James, but the question is for how long? I mean, the transition and the counterattack happened so fast. Goaltenders are left hung out to dry. This game is all about offense. And the puck's kick free. Let's it go! Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Callahan's got it in the defensive end. And puts the body into it a little bump for car hockey. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow. Minnesota's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. Scoops up the puck. And he easily stops that one. Play with the dead penalty coming up. The Rangers are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Another special teams opportunity for both sides. The man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do. And this is an earned opportunity. They practice. They know what they're doing. It'll come. And the puck clears the zone. Loses his balance on the play. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moves it around along the half wall. Picks off the pass. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Sabinajad's won a big draw on their own end. Trying to clear the zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. And now he moves it quickly to champion. That was amazing. What a save by Lundqvist. Handles it along the blue line. Good fight for the puck along the boards. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. They score! Well, how about that? A good defense translates to, to an even better offense. It's amazing how a PK can deflate or inflate, and that's an inflator. When you get a shorthanded goal, you know that you switch the momentum. The game has so many swings of momentum, and you always look to your leadership to make a difference, and that's exactly what he does when he puts this goal on. He's contagious, he's infectious when it comes to energy. And there's another example. Miller's ready for the try as they continue to be shorthanded here. Minnesota's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Fires it, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Looks to set up at the point now. Loose puck and they're off to the races. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Dropped him in the open ice. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. Can they get it done? Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They got to move it to be able to gain entry quickly. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. 
The goaltenders have the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Power play expires, and they got to be left shaking their heads as they fail to convert and serve up. They've got a two-on-one. Oh, fantastic save and crushes the rock. Slides the pass over to Gartner. Centering pass. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Tries to get the puck over to Clutterbuck. Puts it in deep. New York's got possession of the puck. Quick pass to Gartner. The Rangers play it along the wing. Feeds it on over to Pominville. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick pass across to St. Louis. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. And the puck banks off the glove. And he slides it quickly to Sabinajad. Gaining steam here on the attack. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Oh, a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's gonna continue to be a target if his head is down. And they keep the pressure on. And he's ridden off the puck. But point blank range. Turn that one aside. Sends the pass over. Shut it up. James, but I think he created it from start to finish. I mean, to be able to drive the lane, have the presence of mind of where that player, the coverage is on you and shield it appropriately to be able to get that pass across, unbelievable play. Minnesota's had plenty of opportunities, but they finally get one here in period number three. There's been a lot of pushback. They've had the puck on their stick. Now they're going to have to look to attack. They can feel like they're in the game because they finally are. And that's snapped away in the defensive oh. end by St. Louis. Through center along the wing. The Wild have it in their own zone. Minnesota's got it across the line. Here's a chance. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays oh. out. The Rangers carry it along the wall. Blocked in traffic. Takes a shot. Denies him in close. Minnesota's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no short to scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Off the draw, they take possession. Great heads-up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Richards is all skills. You know that back in the day, he's been working on it collectively, and it shows in his game. But right here, he just gets caught up in a tight space and loses the puck. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Quick pass over to Michael. Gaining momentum up along the side. Shot! What a stop! Taken along the wall by Kako. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Rocked him! Slides it diagonally to Gabarik. And that carries off a stick. Taken by Scantella. Quick feed to Silverberg. Stops that one. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Drills them. Break away. Oh, that just looked like indecisiveness there, Cheryl. Yeah, and a lack of confidence as well, James. When you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do, and you have to play with authority. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. Back to the point, he's set it up. Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove, and it keeps out. I'm not sure how we saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened, there's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. And loses possession after a solid hit. 
Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. With some open space at center. Here's a shot! Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Moves it quickly over to Callahan. And he's knocked off the puck there. Slides it up front. And the play continues. Now a quick pass to Gardner. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. They need a goal here. They've got the extra check on the ice. coaching staff knows that this group is on their toes and have to find a way to attack the net. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Towards the gaping net. To the empty net. Scores into the empty net. Cameron, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Listen, I was on the back end. I didn't have hands. So when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out, <laughs> fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. Hard play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Miller's got the puck. And it's a quick pass to St. Louis. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. The Rangers get a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Messier. Dubnik's at the bench, allowing for the extra attacker to jump on. Scores! An empty net goal! Well, you're trying to push and create something with the extra attacker, and you know that you get the extra advantage, but unfortunately, it doesn't work out, and it goes the other way. Minnesota's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Shot! Big stop! Just as time expires in the period. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Minnesota's aggressive approach to try to get back into this one just didn't seem to go according to plan here, Cheryl. I'm not sure what the plan was, James. You pull your tender in the hope of getting back in the game, but after the first goal, it's over. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.